this is Dr. Bob and Debbie DeMaria, and welcome once again to our Half Off Health program. And let me tell you what, we're going to have this on the internet because you have to share this. So if you're watching me right now anywhere in the world, you can come to Cleveland, Ohio. And if you're not pregnant, we will help you get pregnant. Right, Michelle? Right. <laughs> so let's talk. We have, we have a lot okay. to talk yeah, about in a do. little bit of time. Okay. When we were off camera, one of the items that Michelle mentioned to me that I want to share with you is a lot of times you'll go to your health care provider and they'll tell you that certain body functions are normal. They told her she did in fact have a normal thyroid and we talk about it in the book. There's something called the conversion of T4, that's TOM4, to T3. 80% of the thyroid hormone in your body is T4. It's 20% effective. 20% of the thyroid hormone in your body, for example, is T3, but it's 80% effective. Now listen to what I'm going to share with you right now. T4 becomes T3, and it does that in your liver and other tissues in your body. Michelle, her body wasn't converting T4 to T3. I do not know why they didn't know that, and I feel bad that they didn't know that, but I'm here to tell you it's common. You have to make sure that you have a very knowledgeable healthcare provider we supplemented her accordingly. We used a product from a company called Biotics called Medistim. It was specifically designed for the conversion of T4 to T3. And guess what? Her thyroid started working <laughs> and she got pregnant. And I think what's significant is that you could be told that you have a normal thyroid or you could have a low thyroid and need Synthroid. You'll never get better. I'm not saying it be unkind. You'll never get better because your T4 is not converting. Can I share a little scary thought with you? If you have menopause right now and you're on Synthroid, you're going to get osteoporosis. And you know what that means? They're going to have you take another drug to help the osteoporosis. That makes me kind of upset with the medical and the pharmaceutical companies today. He gets a little angry because really the answers are right out there, Michelle. Right. Now you had an experience because you had to tell your husband you were coming to a chiropractor mm -hmm. to work on trying to have a baby. Right. How did that go? Well, at first he, I mean, I, I think he reacted sort of the way I did. It was kind of unbelievable, you know. Um, but he was willing, at that point, like I said, we were willing to try anything. Um, so he did come with me for the consultation. And I know he was a little standoffish, and we left. And he was like, well, you know, we'll try it, but whatever. You know, we'll give it a shot because this is the end of the rope. We had kind of already accepted the fact that we were going to have an only child. Mm -hmm. And um, he's a very by-the-book, numbers, you know. <laughs> I have to get this on camera. He was folding his arms, <laughs> looking at me like... Yeah, Is this right. Guy for real? Oh, yes. <laughs> but you know what? I did not deviate. I knew my yeah. purpose. I knew what was going on in your life. And mm -hmm. I think what's really important. And this is the part that I don't want to miss, because see, Michelle did not come to see us just for vitamins. And I have to share this with you, because you also had some subluxation issues. Mm -hmm. She had headaches. Your brain sits in the skull, continues on as the cord. The cord is in the column. She had misalignment in her spine. We corrected the misalignment, which in fact could allow her to absorb the nutrients better to allow the body to heal itself. So you could have and take the best supplements in the world, eat the best food in the world, but if your brain is not saying stomach, stomach says yes, if it's not absorbing the nutrients properly, you'll never get better either. Mm -hmm. So a subluxation checkup is also was a part of what we were able to do for her. Now, Michelle, you were also talking about you changed something in your life as far as food. And what? tell us about that. Um, I, you know, I had never really, I had seen organic food, but I kind of just passed it by and never really focused on it or bought it. And you, just from, you know, watching the videos in the waiting room and hearing Dr. Bob talk and then learning about what's actually going into our foods and what we're putting into our bodies, I've started buying a lot of organic food and, you know, and I think about what I've put in my daughter for three years of her life I know. and it's really scary it is it's very scary so for her you know I want to make sure that I'm putting the right things in her body you know and also for my husband and I as well right so we have started eating a lot more organic food and you know just more natural things and not so much processed foods and things like that so well that's going to add years to your life and to her Hers, life see yeah. what's happening now we see Michelle is somebody could be um, raised, let's say, in the 50s, mm -hmm. okay? 
and they had 50 years of eating probably the maybe the first 30 years of their life eating a little bit different and then all of a sudden we get so much process and so mm. much sugar lace and so much trans fat right and all the breakdown in the age was amazing so now when we got into practice at first we saw people in their 50s and 60s and 70s have the breakdown okay what's happening is if your daughter would have stayed on the same route we would have saw her break down maybe at 16, okay. maybe at 14, mm -hmm. maybe at 20. Right. And that's what's happening. Society is changing in the breakdown of the body because of what they're experiencing. Sure. Yeah. And so we know that it's very important to eat organic mm -hmm. because do you know just alone in your weight, if you eat organic, you will actually lose mm. seven pounds a year. Wow. See all yeah, those chemicals. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. We are lacing chemicals on mm -hmm. our vegetables and on our meats and everything. Right. And all those chemicals and toxins go in your body and they are weight mm -hmm. to our body. So you're you're helping her and think about what you're doing for your newborn coming right, up. Exactly. Besides yeah. getting pregnant and your headaches going away, what else changed? What did anything else did your skin, your bowels, your you know, what um, all changed in your body? I mean I think overall I just felt better. I, I mentioned one at one of my appointments I was sleeping deeper. Wow, that's you good. Know, that's, yeah, I was that's really healing. that was the first thing that I actually noticed is how deep and restful my sleep was versus what it was before. Hold um, your thought. Okay. For those that you are watching me right now, human growth hormone because a lot of people called me up and emailed dr bob should i take hgh human growth hormone now just get sleep so what happened was michelle started sleeping her body started to make mm -hmm. human growth hormone yeah. isn't that great yeah no i did i felt i felt a lot better just because of the way i was sleeping you know and the headaches were better and um yeah, I mean, when I found out i was pregnant that was the best news so <laughs> well, you know what michelle one of the greatest things the most, the best compliment that a doctor's office and really a lot of other places could get is a referral process mm -hmm. because it takes a lot for a person to go out on a limb to say, hey, you really need to go see this person. Right. Because you know what? It's the same like a movie. You look at movies a little bit different than somebody else. Yeah. A restaurant, you might like a certain kind of food and you refer somebody else to it and then they don't like it so yeah. much. It's the same type of thing. Hey, you really need to go see my chiropractor. This is what right. happens. But you have been a source of referral because I know you have it inside of you that I'm new. I'm changed. Right. My whole life from this period on Absolutely. is going to be totally different. Mm -hmm. And so first I want to congratulate you thank for you. speaking. And second, thank you because that is a wonderful compliment to us. And we are here to work on helping sick people get, get well. Yeah. And well, I think part of it too is, I mean, we're just in our society no one ever talks about it's so I mean I I think I mentioned it to you one time why don't more people know about natural medicine I mean I didn't but we're just our whole lives you just go see a medical doctor from the time you're a child you know and so I just think people don't know about it and I think when you have a story like mine it's easier for me to go out and say look it worked for me I'm I'm physical proof of what can happen and I think it makes it easier for people to believe in it and to want to go and try it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I've, I know a couple of my friends have come and so they're happy so far. Oh, that's yeah. good. Well, we'll <laughs> they continue feel better. to work on keeping them happy. No, I know Because you when you're healthy, you feel happier. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we see people around, not just in the office, but right. when you go somewhere and you see people and sometimes they have a short fuse or they are they're the people the clerk at the store mm -hmm. and they're short with you or they don't really look like they want to help you even though that's their job right it's not always what's happening there it's the underlying what's I have the time? headache or I have sure. the neck aid or something's going on with my stomach or I just somebody just t gave me a bad report that I had cancer mm -hmm. see those are the things that can be changed I think oftentimes we don't realize they no. can be changed no so this is your this is your moment to shine. <laughs> She's been shining really good so far. <laughs> she has. Her smile is like Aww. radiant. You know, I love it. Is what would you tell people? All the things that you have said accumulative. But you know, in your heart of hearts, what is that that you can tell people?
because you want their life to change from what you experience. Please do that. Right I now. think the biggest thing that I've learned through all of this is that in the medical field, they treat the symptom and they don't treat the cause. And I feel like Dr. Bob really listens to what's happening with your body and he tries to figure out why is this happening and then he treats that. And I think that's really the big difference that we don't see when we go to a doctor. They just give us a pill or they want to do some invasive procedure on us and you know it doesn't always work and it's painful it can be expensive and it's just nice to have something that naturally works and you know it's like I said I'm living proof that it works and um, so I, I, I'm very happy that I met you I feel very blessed and thank you so much for the blessing that you've given my husband and I and Gianna oh, that's awesome. and, um, and like you're I coming said, back oh I yes <laughs> I'm baby well, yes. two babies I think <laughs> two babies. you know when she was talking I wonder I thought wow I wonder if you guys will have more but before we close I have to talk to you about a couple things you are fortunate that you had the means to get pregnant see it's very possible if they did not have IVF, you would have been childless, just kind of poo-pooed the whole thing and went on mm -hmm. with your life. Right. So you could be watching us right now, literally anywhere in the world, and you're at your wit's end, and you don't know what to do. I would first encourage you to go to the Internet and just type in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones, edition number two. Great detail. It will make a difference in your life. You can come to our office. We are in Ohio. Just Google or do a search on Dr. Bob DeMaria. You may have some other health challenges going on. I don't know what they are. Do some research. Put some searches on there. Talk to people about what's going on. See your local health care provider. See your local chiropractor. Become engaging. You don't have to be the puppet at the end of the puppeteer string. We're here to make a difference for you wherever you are, wherever you're at in the world. Don't give up. You have the position and the ability to make the final decision on your own. Give us a call. I promise you, you'll be glad you did.